These two guys built an underground mansion, and at the end, they added crocodiles to it. Let's see how they did it. If you guys want to check out the original creators, they will be linked down below in the description of today's video. But here are our two builders of the day. Just like every other video that we've seen in this same style, they're starting out with basic tools. Like, they have nothing, and they have I've already dug that out. Now, I've seen a couple theories that, like, these videos are, like, fake. I don't know if they actually are. If you guys have an idea, comment down below. I don't know, honestly. Like, these guys seem like they are building with just basic tools. Like, this dude has, like, a, like a, literally just, like, a metal stick. And he is just carving out tons of amazing things. Like, they just dug this entire area, which is at least 10 feet deep. And obviously, it's a time lapse, so you don't know exactly how long this took. They make it seem so fast, but, like, he just made that. He just literally made a giant hand in the center of their building. Wait, did you guys catch that? Yo, wait, hold on. What was that? We can't just go right by that. I thought I saw that. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, so these guys are like carving out, what is this, like windows in the side of it? I saw crocodile in the title and I clicked on it immediately. I need to see exactly where they find a crocodile and how they're going to get it inside of their underground water mansion. Wait, that's actually insane. No words are said by these men. They don't have to talk, they're speaking through their actions. And by actions, I literally mean just stabbing. Okay, I guess he's probably making like, oh, oh, a bedroom. All right, yeah, of course, because in your underground mansion, you need somewhere to sleep. That wasn't already obvious to you plebs out there that have never built an underground mansion before. Oh, wait, what was that? He just like, he just looked at the camera. He got so excited. How do they build that perfect triangle? Dude, I would love to take these guys to like my local beach for the day and just see what sort of sandcastle they would be able to build. I feel like they could win just like world renowned competitions. That's insane. Bro, listen, how do they do this? Hear me out, like if you gave me a couple of tools and told me you had to build something like this or else your entire family dies. I honestly don't think that I could do it, dude. I, even if you gave me like 10 days, maybe even give me an entire year and I could never make something like this. These guys are professionals. I don't even know like what sort of skill is this called? Is this like architecture or just like sculpting? I guess it's a little bit of both. And then also just like the sheer muscle and strength of these dudes to be able to dig out a hole that's like, what, at least eight feet deep? If we do the calculations, these guys are like probably maybe five foot, maybe close to six foot. But yeah, there's at least a couple feet still left over that they had to dig out. How did they dig all of that? I'm starting to think that maybe they had a little bit of extra help because how long would it take, do you guys think, two dudes to build that? and be able to dig out that. A long flipping time is the answer. And also look, they're just using their hands to get out like some of the stuff. Like they're literally just throwing dirt. At least when I'm at the beach, I have a Frisbee so that I can have it in my hole and then I could like yeet out all of the sand that I'm putting inside of my hole, literally just like that. I have my Frisbee and I go like this. And then boom, all the sand is gone. These guys don't even have that. They're using their bare fists. There is a lot of sculpting going on. I don't know what it is about these videos, but I will forever watch them at three in the morning. They just like, they're so satisfying and they help me sleep. I'm not sure about you guys. It feels weird watching it. Like it's midday right now and I'm watching this video and it feels like I should be in bed with like a cup of hot chocolate, maybe a couple marshmallows sprinkled on top and I should have this up on my big screen. And this is just like pure serenity for me. I watch this and then I just fall asleep. It's the most amazing thing ever. Oh, he found a root. He didn't care. He just mined the root. Yo, these guys are playing professional Minecraft in real life. I just realized that's exactly what they're doing. I'm sure that the creator of Minecraft would be proud. Wh when did when did that thing get in the center of the hand sculpture? I don't remember seeing that there, and I don't remember watching them make it. I wonder if these guys are related. Like, where did they meet? Are they brothers? 
Maybe they're cousins. Did they kind of just meet at like a local building club? Maybe they were both in pottery class and they were just like, yeah, do you want to like start a YouTube channel where we dig out huge areas and make underground structures and then we add crocodiles to them for the entertainment of millions of people? This video I'm pretty sure has like a hundred million views. And that's every single one of these videos, I swear to God. They have hundreds, hundreds of millions of views. Like, holy heck, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I, I should probably go outside and try to make one of these. I'll make a deal with you guys. If today's video gets 100,000 likes, I will attempt to do something like this. I will spend at least an entire day trying to build an underground structure. It'll probably end up just being a hole, but if you guys really want to see that, just leave a like. I don't want to do it. I'll put that out there. I do not want to do it. I think it would be kind of fun. Also, wait, where did they just get all of this? Is that pottery? I think we just kind of brushed over the fact that they just found like ancient ruins and found pottery. That was planted. There's no way that they just found that. It's look at the condition. It looks like it's fresh off the shelf. Okay, so that that's fake. That part is cat. There's no way. Absolutely no way that they found that there. I've always been curious too, what do they dig? Like, what is that material that they're mining? It looks like sand, but it's obviously not sand. Is it like sandstone or is it clay? How is it so like together? It's like the moon sand. If you guys remember from like when I was 10 years old, which was 13 years ago, there was moon sand where you could like push it together and then it actually like stayed in shape. Did they just transfer in like 10,000 pounds of moon sand and they're just excavating it? Is this entire thing built by aliens? Who knows? I'm asking all the right questions though. Do they ever use different tools? I've only seen them use their hands and then this stabbing device that they use to stab over and over again. They don't have anything else that they're using like at all. Not even a shovel. How- yeah, wait, how are they- There's no way they're digging without a shovel, right? Right? How could they? Oh, okay, it looks like they have their staircase. Oh, that's so sick. Wait, no, is that just like a window? I don't know. They're making these, like, random lines in the ground that I guess they're using to, like, act as markers when they start slamming the ground with their ginormous metal sticks. Dude, the detail on this is incredible. I don't know how- where- where are they making this? I, they're not really showing them making, like, this super awesome stuff, like that chair. They're kind of just showing them, like, stabbing, and they're also showing, like, a lot of the good stuff, like the sculpting. So these guys are really talented. Also, where do you find guys like this? I know I was talking about it earlier, but seriously, like, where do you find a person with this particular skill set? That's incredible! And we're not even, like, close to being done. Dude, that, it looks like they did it in one singular day. Which, obviously, they, there's no way. Absolutely no way they did that in one singular day. They just touched the baby. And now, I guess that's their bedroom. They go to sleep. Okay, it is implied that they did that in one day. No. And then, look, they're right back at it. It literally looks like the same time of day. This is insane. Okay, now I guess they're mining out the pool area because every underground mansion obviously needs to have a beautiful pool and also a crocodile exhibit. That'll come later. I don't know exactly when, but eventually they will delve into the jungle and look for literal water dinosaurs. Like, I don't think crocodiles have evolved for at least like a hundred million years. I'm pretty sure during the time when dinosaurs were roaming on land, crocodiles looked the exact same, except they were maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know why somebody would willingly want to go out and capture a crocodile. They're deadly. Have you seen their teeth? But we're not there quite yet. These guys, uh, I guess they got upgrades. They now have, it looks like, two bags, two woven bags where they can fill them with dirt. I think it's dirt. I don't know what that is. Ah, yes, the baby. <laughs> the chosen child. I don't know why that baby is in those giant hands, but it, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. I kind of wish they built, like, a crocodile head sculpture for their crocodile underground water mansion, but that's just me. 
That's just me, guys. I love the sound effects, too. I kind of wish that they made Minecraft sound effects in this. Like, every time somebody was mining, they added in, like, breaking dirt sound effects. That would kind of be funny. These guys are strong, man. They are just like they're digging and then they're being forced to pull it all out of the water and they don't even look that strong. I'm sure that they are because I am very strong. I don't, I don't look strong, trust me. I look like a tiny twig, but I got some strength to me. So I understand that maybe they're just stronger than they look. But seriously, dude, if they're doing this often, you would think that they would be ripped. They're just, they're in really good shape, but like they're not ripped. Okay, what part is this? Like, half the things, I can't even tell what they're doing. Did they just dig? Wait, hold up. Dude, every single time I look away, I swear it gets deeper. Like, they were just, they just started digging that out maybe like two minutes ago. And now it's already like five feet deeper than it used to be. Like, when do you hit rock in the ground? Because every single time, I swear, I try to dig a hole or I'm at the beach, I eventually run into like rocks that I can't mine. I try my hardest, and I'm, I mean, I'm using a frisbee. Sometimes I have a really good shovel, but like still, where are they where they can dig this? Also, another question that I've never really thought about before. What do they do afterwards? After they're done with this incredible underground mansion, do they sell it? Like, are they building this for some sort of like underground millionaire that just loves having these random structures in the middle of the jungle where they go hang out with a, maybe a couple friends and then do they just cave it in or do they fill up the entire thing with with like rocks? I have no idea. I don't know. Comment down below what you would do with this. I would personally like to have a giant barbecue, show everybody my crocodiles that I will eventually get. I would also just want to hang out with these two guys and like see what's going through their head whenever they're making one of these and like if they have a plan before they, they definitely have a plan if they don't it would be insanity if they were just going in and then just like trying random things as they went like you could tell dude look at the architecture of this i mean it's not perfect it's not like the eiffel tower or it's not like a like a roman basilica or anything like that but it's still insane like some of the stuff there looks way better than my house what are they grabbing now it looks like mud yeah, they just have giant pots of mud. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. I think they're making it waterproof. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they're making like clay or like a concrete situation. And they're putting it down below so that nothing uh, caves in, right? I think it's going to be like nice and nice and hard and stern and structurally sound. Those are all architect words. I am not an architect. How much mud are they going to get? Ew, dude. Oh, my. Okay. Also, wait, why don't they have shirts on? Why do they do this in shorts? I guess it's kind of like Tarzan. I guess that's the audience that they're after. People that are fans of Tarzan will probably be fans of these guys. Maybe they were raised by wolves. Who knows? I know for sure. I do not know. Oh, my gosh, dude. They're doing it all with their hands. That is incredible. It must feel so good, too, after you're done a project like this. Like, after you've worked days, maybe even weeks, maybe maybe months on something like this, and you're just done with it. Like, what do you do after that? Do you just, like, do you just take a nap? Do you go and build another one? Also, another question. I know I have a lot of questions today, but I might as well ask them because I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing. What do they do if it rains? Like... Does it not rain where they are? Obviously it does because there's water right there. So there has to be rain at some point. I'm pretty sure anyway, that's how water works. But where do they, where, where does all the rain go? Like won't, won't the rain mess it up? Because everything there looks really dry. So like maybe one bad thunderstorm and poof, that thing is all gone. Okay, what else do they need? He grabbed a tool. Oh, they're making... Oh, what are they doing? They're making fire. That is the first time I've seen him rest. Other than when he went and, like, took a nap earlier. What are they grabbing? Are they, like, cooking? I Dude, they need to eat, right? These people are working so much, dude. Okay, good. Okay, good. They at least took a sip of water, which is... That's... 
They need that. They need that in their lives. Oh, what's happening? Oh, they're using leaves as like oven mitts. That's pretty cool. Okay, it looks like they made... Oh. Oh my gosh, they made paint. They actually made paint. They're painting the baby. That is one golden baby. Holy smokes. All right. I did not expect that. Are they going to paint this entire structure? Of course they are, obviously. They have to make it look good for the millionaires. Oh my goodness, dude. Wait, won't all the paint just go away when they put water in it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I, I'm not acting like I know more than they do. They are obviously... Uh, weathered veterans when it comes to building underground mansions. I, a simple level one noob, know nothing about building underground water mansions that can house crocodiles. I know nothing. Well, there they go. <laughs> they completed that part in like a minute. In a minute. All right, they're just going to add in candles. They had to have been given candles, right? They didn't make those. There's no way. Well, yeah, they got, like, pottery that they found, that they dug up randomly. So they probably did the same thing with the candles. It's like an underground loot package. That's how they're filling it up with all the water. They're filling it up in manual mode. It's not going to work. No, there's... App no, no, you are not telling me right now. Not in this climate, not in this day and age, that they are about to fill up an entire pond with just water that they're bringing from their shoulder. That is enough water. That's literally bigger than than some ponds. I swear, dude. Look at that. It's look how how fill. What? No, 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 no. There's no way. Look, look at it. Look at it. Every time they walk back, it's getting a little bit higher. Every one jar has to be like what? five gallons max water is heavy eight pounds per gallon i'm not sure how many kilos for you people that are not in the united states of america but you can figure it out but anyway they're not gonna be there's no way there's no way no there there's a crocodile boys 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 there's a crack are they gonna put a crocodile inside of their pot how does the crocodile get inside of this giant underground water mansion it's full they filled up the entire gosh darn thing. Holy heck, these men are in creative mode. Watch out, guys. There's a crocodile. Are you wait? Did, 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 is that crocodile planted? Dude, is what is real and what is fake? This is real, dude. They are dead. What are they doing? Put it down. It is a water dinosaur with teeth. Are you kidding me? ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! NO! YOU SHOULD NEVER PICK UP A CROCODILE! NEVER! UNLESS YOU'RE FROM FLORIDA! Oh my gosh, they put a crocodile in there. That is so cool! Please tell me they're gonna get more crocodiles. I want a whole family of crocodiles now. They do not stop, dude. He just put a crocodile in the water, and now he's celebrating with some melon. With some nice, juicy watermelon. That is in- Dude, 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 dude bro. Bro, you are looking a crocodile dead in the eyes. After you just manhandled it. They literally picked it up. They, they were like, nah, dude. This isn't your home anymore. Boom! You're captured. I really hope that area is not connected. As much fun as it might look, it is not safe to swim with a crocodile. <laughs> they do look so happy, though. Look at them. <laughs> the crocodile is just on the other side. I can't believe they built that. What the heck, man? That's crazy that they built that. It looks awesome. Okay. I know my new YouTube channel. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I'm starting one.